Hey guys, what's up? I'm Andy. I'm a self-taught software developer and today's video is all about the three top programming languages to learn if you are brand new to programming and want to become a software developer. Now in a lot of my previous videos, there are so many comments asking me what the best programming language is to learn uh, for beginners. A lot of people who just start getting into it, they're like, I don't know what to do. There's so many options out there. So really the goal of today's video is to cover what the, my three recommendations are for brand new beginners. Now a little bit about me, if you've never seen any of my videos before, I'm a self-taught uh, software developer, I'm a full stack developer, so I work all the way from the front to the back end, and I've been a software developer for a little over three years now. Now before we actually jump into what I think are the three best programming languages to learn as a beginner, I'm gonna bring up two really big points that you need to keep in mind when you are starting. The first thing to keep in mind when you choose a programming language is that the programming language is just to teach you the fundamentals of programming. If you don't have much experience in programming, when you are trying to learn, a lot of it is just getting used to the sort of headspace that you need to get into to become a programmer. I remember when I first started, just looking at lines of code, understanding how things basically work, the syntax of the language, um, the basic, basically understanding logic, being able to look at code and just kind of pick it up like that, that is what you're really going for. So when you're choosing a language, it's not of the greatest importance what language it is for the most part, and we'll get into that. And the second thing to keep in mind is don't waste tons of time, energy, and research going into your first programming language. Don't spend months and months and months just trying to figure out what the best programming language. You should really take maybe a week or less. Honestly, I say take two days, <laughs> you know? Watch a few YouTube videos, do a little bit of Googling, and then pick the programming language that makes the most sense for you. If you're taking a long time to do it, chances are good you're just using it as procrastination for actually sitting in front of the computer and doing code. Remember, you're not getting married to the first programming language that you learned, so you can always get a coding divorce and choose a new partner programming language. All right, you get what I'm saying? All right, good. Okay, so let's dive into my three favorite programming languages. All right, number three is Java or C Sharp. Now, I am a C Sharp developer, so I'm very impartial to C Sharp. Um, but Java and C Sharp are very similar in their syntax. They're similar in so many ways, but uh, Java is more widely used than, than C Sharp, just from a, I guess, a job perspective. I think uh, that would be worldwide, or in, at least in the US. There's more companies using Java, but from a learning perspective, I think Java and C Sharp have a lot of benefits. Um, they're strongly typed languages, meaning that they are more, a little more rigid than, say, something like JavaScript in terms of their syntax. Um, there are some challenging aspects of C Sharp and Java. One of them being just the getting it set up on your computer. Um, the, the sort of development environment takes a little, there's a little bit more overhead to it. So it's probably not the best learn, language to learn as a number, uh, you know, as your number one choice, but it's definitely not a terrible language to learn. And I'm impartial to it. I learned it using uh, the headfirst C Sharp book. I learned it after uh, teaching myself JavaScript or learning JavaScript and I felt that it was definitely challenging. I felt JavaScript was easier, but C Sharp was uh, something that I could pick up after I had sort of the fundamentals of programming. Number two on my list is Python. Now a lot of people are going to probably throw some, some shade my way because they're going to say, no, 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 Python is number one on the list. Look, Python's a great programming language to start out with. I know so many people that, that who started out with, with Python and they did very well for themselves. Python is a widely used programming language. It is very easy to pick up because the syntax, the nat just the basic nature of the syntax um, is pretty straightforward. There's nothing, there's nothing, it's, it's pretty intuitive, even from someone who's coming from a non-technical background. It's also fairly easy to set up. It's just running an installation basically on your computer and you will have a dev environment set up pretty easily. I found that on the Mac, it's a little bit harder than on Windows, but again, for the most part, to get it set up is fairly easy. Also, because Python is so popular, there are so many teaching resources, just knowledge resources in general, 
And for someone who's just learning programming, you want as many resources as you can to learn. And because of the popularity, you're going to find that wherever you go. And I cannot recommend highly enough to, to make sure you're choosing a language that is really well, I guess you could say supported by a large community of people who are willing to help. All right, so what is my number one programming language that I think you should learn if you are a brand new beginner? That programming language is JavaScript. Now, I am super biased because the first programming language that I learned is JavaScript, and I loved it. I still love it to this day. Like, JavaScript is my absolute favorite programming language. It's not even the programming language that I work in the most, but it's the one that I have the most love for. It's just something I enjoy. The first app that I built was a JavaScript, just completely raw JavaScript Tetris app. And I remember having so much fun with it and there's just so much flexibility that other languages don't offer. And most importantly, the reason that I recommend it number one over Python is because it is so easy to set up. All you really truly need to start coding right now in this moment in JavaScript is a browser like Chrome or Firefox or Safari and a text editor to create a, a, a JavaScript file or an HTML file with JavaScript inside of it. And similar to Python, JavaScript is obviously very widely supported by a big community. JavaScript is everywhere. Everyone who basically interacts with the internet interacts with JavaScript. It is everywhere, it is one of the most popular programming languages. There are plenty of jobs for JavaScript developers or someone who is specializes in a JavaScript framework such as React.js or Angular and many, many more. So it's part of the reason why I think that it's number one. Now, let's just take a step back here. Does that mean that if you are really interested in Python or C Sharp that you should just go to JavaScript because I recommend it number one? No, please use your brain on this one. Go with the program, programming language that you like, not what I am telling you to do. This is strictly my opinion. This is what worked for me. But if you find that there is some programming language that you really like, go with that one. Because honestly, at the end of the day, this is a marathon, not a sprint. To learn to, especially if you're teaching yourself, even if you're going to school, I think those are challenging. Either way, they're challenging and you wanna make sure that you're in it for the long haul. So if someone told you that C++ is the best thing to learn and you tried it and you hate it and you really don't like it, but you think you like programming, then don't do C++. But on the flip side, if someone told you to do JavaScript and you're doing C++, and you really enjoy it, then the obvious thing to do in this case would be to stick with what you enjoy and like, even if it means that you're gonna learn a little bit slower. All right, so that's really all I have to say on the subject. Now you know my three top programming languages to learn if you are a brand new beginner. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, if you are a brand new beginner, could you please let me know your thoughts? Did this video help? If it didn't, let me know why. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching and go ahead and subscribe below here. Click the bell if you wanna get notifications for any of my new videos. All right guys, peace out.